to Kids Cove News. We are so glad that you are here with us today. January was such an amazing start to the new year and the celebration isn't quite over yet. We wish a super special happy birthday to Aria. We hope you had an amazing day. We have several friends celebrating their birthdays this week. Happy birthday, Levi, Bryce, and Micah. Happy birthday, Caleb, Brock, and Emma. Happy birthday to Royce and Audrina. We want to invite you to join us in person next week for our big game day Sunday on February the 12th. We will be hanging out with Coach Bobcat in person and enjoying hot dogs in our classroom. It will be a day that you do not want to miss. Preschoolers will also be enjoying a special snack and don't forget to wear your favorite jersey. That's right. We want to also remind you to save the date for our staycation on March 13th. Today is National Nutella Day. <laughs> be sure and enjoy some Nutella with your favorite snack. I like to eat apples and Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an amazing snack, Mr. Teresa, I'll have to try that. That's, That's a wrap, wrap for Kids Coke, Coke News. News. See, See you, you next week. Hey, Kids Cove, it's your good friend, Coach Bobcat. And I'm the new strength and conditioning coach for Kids Cove. It's good. And I've got great news for you. On Sunday, February the 12th at 9.15 and 11 a.m. in Kids Cove, we're having Game Day Sunday. Everybody say Game Day Sunday. All right, and it's gonna be great. Now here's what we need you to do for game day Sunday. We need you to wear your favorite jersey, all right? Your favorite team shirt, your favorite team uniform, your favorite team jersey. Wear it to game day Sunday on February 12th at either 9.15 and 11 a.m. services. And guess what? We're gonna be eating at game day Sunday because at a game, you always gotta eat. So if you're in preschool, you're gonna get little Debbie's during game day Sunday. It's good. Little Debbie's are great, and that's a game day food. And if you're in elementary, you're gonna be eating hot dogs because that's game day Sunday. So make sure you invite your friends and tell everybody that you know that they need to be in Kids Cove on February 12th, either at 9.15 or 11 a.m. for game day Sunday. All right, friends, I'm Coach Bobcat, and I'll see you at game day Sunday on February 12th in Kids Cove. It's good! Hey, at Campus Kids, it's Yancey, and I believe that today is a great day. Today is a beautiful day. Today is an amazing day for us to praise Jesus. So come on, get up on your feet. Get ready to move with me today. Come on, clap those hands. We're going to praise the Lord together. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord every day with my eyes. I praise the Lord every day when my mouth talks. I will praise the Lord when my feet walk. I will praise the Lord with a smile on my face. I will praise the Lord. God made all of me to praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
friends. Welcome to iCampus Kids. I'm Miss Amanda and I'm excited to share a new Bible story with you today. Let's grab your Bibles and get started. Remember, boys and girls, that the Bible was written by God and all the words in it are real and true. Everything we learn about together really happened. God gave us this special book so we can learn more about him and his son Jesus and how much he loves us. Our story today is found in the Old Testament in the book of Exodus, which is the second book in the Bible. Let's turn to chapter one, where our story begins. The Bible tells us that the new king of Egypt did not want Hebrew baby boys to live. He ordered that any baby boys that were born to a Hebrew family should be killed. Our story today tells about a new baby boy that was born into a Hebrew family. Do you have a baby at your house? If you do, you know that babies can be very noisy. They cry a lot. The new baby's mother loved him very much and she tried to hide him for three months. She didn't want anything to happen to him as she tried to think of a way to keep him safe. The baby's mother got a basket and coated the bottom of it with a sticky tar. Tar is a thick black goop that will keep water from coming into the basket. The mother then laid the baby in the basket and she placed the basket in the tall, tall grass near the edge of the river. The baby's sister stood nearby and watched over her baby brother. Let's take a look at the picture. Now, a princess, who was the king's daughter, was there that day walking along the river when she heard a baby crying and she saw the basket with the baby in it. She knew that the baby boy must be a Hebrew baby. The baby sister saw what was happening and she ran over to the princess and asked, do you want me to get someone to take care of this baby for you? Yes, said the princess. The sister ran to get her mother. The baby's mother was so happy to take care of her own baby. Her plan had worked and God had kept him safe. When the boy was older, he lived with the princess and she named him Moses. Who took care of the baby in our story today? His mother and his sister took care of him. They loved him and they wanted to make sure that he was safe. Who takes care of you in your family? Is it your mom or your dad? Maybe it's your grandma or grandpa or sister or brother. Maybe it's all of those people. God gave us families to love each other and to help each other. That's what baby Moses' mother did in our story today. God's plan for families is that they would take care of each other. Let's take a look at our Bible verse, which is found in Galatians 5.13. It says, help one another in love. God instructs us in the Bible to help each other and show love to our family. Let's read that again. Galatians 5.13 says, help one another in love. Let's get ready to pray. Let's thank God for giving us families and ask him to help us to care for each other, just like the mother and sister did in our story today. Father God, we love you so much and we thank you for this time together. And Lord, I thank you for each one of the boys and girls that are hearing these words today. And Father, I pray that you take the words that we learned today and hide it in their hearts. 
Father, I pray for each one of their families, Lord. I pray that you fill their house with love. And Father, help them to take care of each other just the way that Moses' mother and sister took care of him. We thank you for your son, Jesus, and we pray all of these things in his beautiful name. Amen. So let's play a little game. Moses' mother placed him in a basket and put the basket in the tall grass. Let's play a game and see where baby Moses is hiding. Okay, do you see the colored circles on here? Tell me, which color do you think uh, baby Moses is hiding behind? Ready? Okay, just holler out your answers. Okay, you think I should check behind the red one? All right, let's check behind the red one. Nope, baby Moses isn't hiding there. Okay, what color next? Holler him out. Hmm, okay, let's check behind the yellow one. That's a good guess, I like yellow. Nope, baby Moses is not hiding there. All right, where is baby Moses? Let's see, where do you think? Holler it out. Okay, let's try behind the purple one. Purple's my favorite color. No, baby Moses is not hiding there. Where are we gonna find him, friends? All right, let's do it again. Tell me what no color. All right, someone said green. Let's try green. No, baby Moses is not hiding behind the green circle. Hmm, we have two more guesses. We have orange and we have blue. Where do you think baby Moses is hiding? Holler out your guess. All right, I heard a lot of blue, so let's check blue. Oh, there he is! Baby Moses was hiding behind the blue. That was fun. You guessed really quick where baby Moses was hiding. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with me today. I hope you really enjoyed our story, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Um, hey, y'all, hey, can somebody tell me what's cooler than being cool? All right, you know it's ice cold. Somebody say, ice cold. All right, all right, all right. Now today, we learned a family cared for a baby. Now, newborn babies are so cute. And you know, when we were all babies, we all needed to be cared for. Now, even though the king didn't want any baby boys, God had a great plan for the baby, who would later be called Moses. God always has a plan for all of us, and that's good news for us all. All right, right now, I need everybody to get up on your feet. Come on, because it's time to drive the bus. All right, hey, y'all loves to drive the bus, and I know that school is, is right on back. You know, we had a great Christmas break, but school's back, so it's time to drive the bus. So everybody get up on your feet, and every time I say drive the bus, you say drive the bus. Let's practice. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. All right, that's great. All right. Let's get ready to go, everybody. Here we go. Somebody say, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. All right, friends, we need to get our keys out, all right, so we can start the bus. All right, let's start the bus. Start the bus. All right, everybody, now we got to get some passengers on. So here we do. So open the door and say, move on back. Come on. So open the door and say, move on back. One more time. Open the door. It's a move on back. All right, let's close that door up, everybody, because it's time to get back driving the bus. Here we go, friends. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Uh oh, friends, I see something ahead in the road. You know, it's up ahead, yeah, but we can't run it over. You know what we got to do? We got to swerve, 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 swerve. Somebody say, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Great job, everybody. All right, all right. Go ahead and have a seat. Now, today, we're going to play a game that will get us all standing up or sitting down. All right, you guys ready to play? Now, I'm going to tell you to stand up if, and then you stand up. And then I'm going to maybe say sit down if, and if these things are you, then you stand up or you sit down. All right, everybody, get ready. First up, I want you to stand up if you like food. <laughs> okay, all right. Yes, next, I want you to sit down if you like pancakes. 
All right, okay, all right. Now, I want you to stand up if you like waffles. <laughs> Man, all this food talk is making me hungry. All right, now I want you to sit down if you have a sister. Okay, I have a sister, so I, I would sit down. Okay, I want you to stand up if you have a brother. All right, how many of you got a brother? Okay, that's good. All right, friends, last thing. I want you to sit down if you're having fun with iCampus Kids. <laughs> All right. All right, friends. Well, I'm Heya, and it's always great to be with you. All right, for iCampus Kids. Now, can somebody tell me what's cooler than being cool? That's right, it's ice cold. Everybody say, ice cold. All right, friends, I can't wait to see you for more iCampus Kids. So I'm Heya, and I'll see you real soon. All right, all right, all right. Hey, boys and girls, it is so good to see you today on iCampus Kids. We hope you've had just a great time listening to Miss Amanda, hanging out with Hey Ya, and singing with Yancey. Can you give us two thumbs up if you're ready to have some more fun? Wow, you look so ready to do a fun activity with us today. Yes, you do. You know, in our Bible story today, we learn about how Moses' mother took care of him by making a basket and placed it in the tall grass near the river. Today, we will be making a craft using paper plates, paper, and cupcake wrappers to show Moses in the basket. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do first. We are going to color our paper plates blue like the river. You can even add a fish or two. Ooh, that sounds fun. All right. I need a paper plate, Mr. Teresa. Yes, please. And I guess we need blue markers. Thank you, Michelle. For our river. You can use markers or crayons, whatever you have at home. You might even have chalk. I'm gonna add a fish, Michelle. Oh, I think that's a great idea. Fish are fun. You can do them all kinds of pretty colors. These ridges on the paper plate kind of look like waves in the river. That's true. Or ripples. I hope you're having fun coloring your river on your paper plate. I'm just drawing waves. A little yes. different oh, from that's yours. Cute. We can do it all kinds of ways. I think I'll add some of those here in the middle, Miss Teresa. Oh, that sounds good. I love the idea of the fish. You drew a purple fish? Yes, I did. A red fish. A little smiley face on my fish. Oh, that's a He's smiley a happy fish. It's a smiley fish. It's a happy fish in the river. <laughs> that looks so good, so, Miss Teresa. So next, we want to make some tall grass. We can do that a couple of different ways. If you have your paper, you may have green paper at home. You can cut it in strips. We're going to use some different colors of paper so you can see it on the camera. So let's cut. Some scissors, Miss Teresa. Yes, please. You'll want to ask your mom or dad to help you with the scissors. You might even want to trace your hand and use that to cut out his grass, or you can make strips. And we have these fun scissors that put edges on it. Isn't that cool? This is fun. I'm ready to cut the grass. Okay, I'm gonna cut some strips here. I think I'm gonna cut different, um, different height so yeah. it looks full. That's a great idea. Cutting is fun, you just have to be really careful.
Okay, so after you cut your strips of paper for your grass, we want to glue it on our paper plates. And if you put the glue just at the bottom, you can put one little dot if you have liquid glue, or you can use a glue stick like Miss Teresa and I, so that only the bottom part sticks. That'll make this part full. So we're gonna kind of curve it down in a minute. So just glue your strips on there. Your grass. Oh, yours is looking great, Michelle. I wanna show you mine in a minute. Okay. And you can make it different heights. Miss Teresa's is a little shorter, mine's a little taller. Either way is just fine. I think I'm going to cover my fish. I think that's okay. okay. And I think I'm going to try Miss Teresa and fold, curl it down a little bit. You know wow. how when you see tall grass and it blows in the wind? Yes. It kind of fold this down a little so it can do that. Just use your imagination. Yeah. Okay, I'm almost done. Then you can see that little fish hiding there in the water. When you are finished gluing the strips of paper, we are going to draw baby Moses in her cupcake wrapper. Yes, so fun. We have purple. We have little baby cupcake orange, holders. Orange, blue. Which one do you want? Okay, I think I'm gonna use this to match my fish in the water. So baby Moses was in a basket. So I'm gonna... So this will be the basket. Yes. Okay. You want a marker? Yes, please. You're gonna draw. Ours are little bitty cups. You may have a bigger one that you can draw the whole baby. I'm gonna put Moses' little face here so you can see it in the basket. Moses. So the cupcake wrapper is going to be like the best basket. Once we're finished drawing Baby Moses, let's find a place on our plate that we can glue the basket. Okay. Here. This is my Baby Moses. What do you think, Shelly? Oh, yes. He's very sweet. Oh, this is cute. This looks so good. Why we don't write our verses in our plate? Can we do that? Sure, we can write our verse on okay. our plate. You can ask your mom or dad to help you write that. Can I use the, the brown one? Sure. Brown color. Okay. Sure. So our verse is help one another in love. Galatians 5, 13. You know, Moses' mother, loved him so much that she made sure he was safe. So that verse again, are you ready for it? Here we go. Help one another in love. One another. You can see the letters on our screen to help you write it. You can ask someone in your family to help you too. And in the Bible, we find that in Galatians. It's a book in the Bible. 5, 13. 13. Very good. Okay. Oh, I think that finishes off our picture really nicely. It does. It looks good. Moses' mother took care of him 
and Miri and his sister help him watch him. We help others too. That's right, we do. Before we close, boys and girls, let's listen to one more song with Yancey. See you next time on iCampus Kids. Wow, what a really cool Bible story we were learning today about how that family, what they did was they loved one another. And that is something Jesus told us to do. This month, I think it would be a great time for us to sing this song about loving others. So let's do that together right now. Mm -hmm. 